Yo! Wow! We're back, mother truckers! Oh, oh crap! I gotta freaking stop saying something after the yellow suit. We could do the intro. All right, yo! Uh, Backwood That is what they call me. O U T L A D. That is what they call me. King of the woods, king of the stairs. That is what they call me. Outlaw, outlaw. That is what they call me. O U T. That is what they call me. You think they think we're badasses yet? <laughs> That's cracking, mother truckers! Holy tits, man! Back here on the Outlaw Channel for the Thursday video. This one's going up late because we're filming it all on Thursday, which is never freaking good. Never freaking good when I film it the day of. You know, a lot of YouTubers, you know, smaller YouTubers, they film it and then they put it up right away. Me, I try to do it days or weeks in advance to have it planned, but I haven't had much planned for this channel. And we're going to talk about that today. I've had a lot on my mind about this damn channel, and we're going to be talking about that today, but first, it's time to do what we do best on this channel, and it's pack, uh, dip, uh, uh, spit. <laughs> so let's do that right now together, okay? I feel like I have a, the biggest, the biggest times of the, of my life that I feel like I have a connection with you is whenever we uh, pack, dip, uh, uh, spit, uh, together, uh, on a bitch. So let's do that today. Copenhagen won't agree in the usual because I just, I have different things to do, but I just, I, I don't, I don't know. I don't know how to present them to you. So I'm just going to do the, 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 the freaking old faithful, the trusty dusty Copenhagen gosh dang freaking wintergreen. That's what we're doing. So pack dip spit with me at home, you silly dick. Let's freaking do it. And don't, don't get all, don't get all like emotional about it. I know I'm a freaking god to you and I know that I'm like the greatest thing you've ever freaking seen, but I'm telling you right now, if we do this together, we need to, we're gonna have this exp All right, I'm just gonna pack dip spit. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. All right, pack dip spit, you son of a dick. Mmm. Switching it up on you. Going to the left side. Now, ever since I've been doing these videos, I always go right. Rarely ever go left. I've been going left a lot lately. I don't know why. Just it's a different experience, you know, when you're switching it around. I'm not one of those dippers that switches your freaking dip around all the damn time, yo. I usually leave it in one spot and just freaking leave it, you know. So I freaking good, y'all. All right, my jug of the day. We're ripping a yellow t-shirt today. We've got the yellow outlaw classic mud jug. Of course, we've got the gosh dang roadies. Here's the old Dixie roadie here. Here's the comparison. This one fits in your cup holder. This one don't, but it'll sit on top of your cup holder. It's just freaking good. My personal opinion, I like the classics a little bit better, but that's our mud jug of the day. Woo! Oh, boy. A lot to talk about, y'all. We haven't done this in a while where I just sit back and talk to you, right? Now, uh, y'all know that I got my second channel. This video is going to be all over, I can already tell, because I've got so many things running through my head. But y'all know i got my second channel, I Live to Thrill, right? Where I do daily videos all the damn time, I'm always talking about what I'm doing in my life, and I'm filming my life, and all that kind of crap, right? So I'm more of myself, right? And a lot of people are like, oh, I don't like Outlaw on his Outlaw channel because he's just fake. He's not his real freaking... Dude, I'll tell you what right now, okay? Sometimes they watch me on this Outlaw channel and they say, that's not really Outlaw, he's just portraying a character. He's too crazy, he's not really like that. In-law, tell him how I was five minutes ago before we freaking did this video. Yeah, I'm exactly like I am now, correct? Yeah. I am like this a lot, okay? It just happens that I push the record button on Outlaw when I'm having some type of energetic attack on my body, which happens a lot. You see that freaking fly flying around? Yeah. I'm gosh dang about to lose it. Get Freaking flies. Oh, we don't have one of them sons of bitches. We need to, you ever seen them sons of bitches like a tennis racket for flies and you just bleep. Mosquitoes and shit too. Anyways, off topic. What I'm trying to say is I'm not trying to fake nothing on y'all, okay? I'm just fucking crazy and I'm a fucking idiot, alright? So uh, sometimes when I'm acting like a fucking idiot and I'm crazy and shit, that's just how I'm being in that day. I'm not a normal person where I'm the same freaking vibe and I'm monotone and all this kind of crap. I'm just different, alright? And maybe that's why people watch me, because I'm fucking different. Alright. So, brings me to the next fucking point. I want to know, you can already tell by this title. You know, I've been called this so many times over the years that I've never said anything because I know it's not true. And I just want to clarify a lot of things. Now, it doesn't 
to me when people comment stuff like that in the comments and stuff like it never bothers me when it's just like regular hate comments or anything like that because I don't you know to tell you the truth I really don't get that many compared to a lot of other YouTubers that do more controversial things and stuff like that right so I never really pass it by but when someone like goes out of their way to disrespect someone or something you know that has to do with someone else then I freaking then it just makes me mad as y'all have seen in the previous weeks or whatever right I've had this one thing that always bothers me because it makes me feel like I'm someone that, uh, or when people say, as you can tell by the title, that I'm a sellout, it it makes me like, it doesn't make me angry, it makes me sad that people legit think that because it's not, I'm, I really, that's, that's the exact opposite of what I am and I want to clarify that and I want to explain that, okay? So, people talk about sellouts, right? Oh, outlaw, you're freaking promoting your own merch and all that kind of crap, right? That's one thing. I, I promote my merch. Of, oh, get you a yellow outlaw mojo. Get you a yellow shirt from keepitibbly.com, all that kind of stuff, right? So as most of you know, this is my job. I make vidges for a living, okay? I make vidges for a living. It took me eight years to get to this point to where I can be able to do this for a living. I've been doing it forever. I work my ass off. I'm up at night looking at freaking numbers. I'm doing mathematical equations. I'm doing all this type of crazy shit to make this actually work. There's so much more that goes into what I do than, than sit in front of a freaking camera, okay? One of those is merchandise that a lot of YouTubers actually don't even, you know, decide to do because they don't have, uh, you know, catchphrases like I do and I've got so freaking many because I'm a retard and just say whatever tits comes to my freaking mind and people like it. Well, the majority of people like it, I reckon. From the 13 to 14 age, I reckon. <laughs> but, uh, merchandise is one of those things, right? So I'm, I'm pressing my merchandise. I post about it. I try to post about it. I make in-law, this is one of in-law's jobs, is to, is to post a merch post or something every day, right? Because the merchandise helps a lot. When we sell merch and mud jugs, it helps a lot for us to continue to put this entertainment out because it helps us be able to just do videos and put more in on these videos. So you got to think of it that way. Not like, oh, I'm trying to make all this money so I could be rich and say fuck off to everybody else. You know, that's not how it is. Okay, so I know a lot of you are younger and stuff and that's the way you feel. But the way it is for real is to make money. You know, we're adults. We got to pay rent. We got to do this. You know, bills out the freaking anus hole. And, uh, and, and it's also to get us to be able to keep making these videos for y'all. Now that I've clarified that, okay, this is another thing I want to talk about. And that's uh, when, I, when I post things or say things about Mud Jug, hey guys, new Mud Jug coming out, right? New Mud Jug coming out and stuff like that. That's been a part of my videos since I started, okay? It's something cool. It's an accessory that people in my videos like, and it's continued to help Mud Jug and everything like that. Now, I'm a part of that company, Mud Jug. So that's another way that I can make revenue but I really to tell you the truth I don't I shouldn't even talk about this but I don't like make a freaking killing I'm, I don't own mud jug you know I'm not like I don't get like a, a crazy you know I, there's just simple things that I freaking do with my mud jugs and stuff like that, that that help me out but when I post about mud jugs and stuff like that I'm legit just trying to help out a friend I love helping out my friends and and trying to have them succeed as well. That's why you see me post about mud jugs. That's why you see me post about when Redneck Nation has uh, new shirts out and new stuff out. I'm wearing freaking uh, Redneck Nation gear in the vidges. I'm doing a shirt shout out. That's why you see me every time my boys Redneck Soldiers come out with a new uh, new music video or a new thing. You know, I want you guys to go watch it. I want you guys to go support them. They're not paying me. I just want to help them out. So I want to clarify that because and a lot of other companies too. Moultrie, for instance. Moultrie, the game camera company. They don't pay me nothing, y'all. Okay, They don't pay me anything. I do that just because I like Moultrie. They sent me some cameras to give away to y'all. So, hell, why not talk about them, you know? You, I'm giving away free stuff to y'all, so I'm going to talk about them. I like them. And I want to help them out because I like the guys over there, you know? And I'm never done. Okay, this is the thing I wanted to get into is these big YouTubers now. Now, I'm not saying I'm some big YouTuber. I got a quarter million subscribers on this channel. I got 120 something, you know, a thousand on freaking Live to Thrill and crap. But these big YouTubers with millions of subscribers and stuff like that, and even YouTubers that are my size of channel, I reckon, too, they, they, uh, they're, they fit a different mold than what I do. I do something completely different, right? But these YouTubers out there, they, uh, 
they do brand deals, they call them, and they do sponsorships and stuff. And these companies come to them uh, and, and they pay them quite a, a substantial amount of money to just talk about it for like a minute in their video, put it in there as an ad or whatever, okay? You never see me do that once. Legit, legitimately, I have probably been contacted by thousands, I'm not even kidding, I still got them stacked up in my email, thousands of companies that want to pay me to put their advertisements in my videos be like, hey man, we'll, we'll send you freaking a grand to your PayPal right now, we'll do this for you, blah, 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 and all that kind of crap, right? I could easily have made so much freaking money if I just said yes. But either I'm an asshole and I don't reply to them when they freaking keep doing it, or I'm just like, no, man, I just I can't do it. And the reason why, and I've never told anybody this, but I just I want to clarify this so that you guys don't think I'm a bad person and really legit think that I'm a sellout. The reason why I don't do that is because I feel like it saturates my content. It saturates it to where if every video I got a new company in here, it's like, and it doesn't have anything to do with what I'm, if it doesn't have to do with freaking dipping and spitting and freaking country shit and hillbilly this and shooting guns and gigging frogs and looking at country girls assholes, then it, then it really doesn't do much for y'all, right? Because that's my type of content. So if I got some company that, uh, Audible or something like that, if I got some company that freaking, uh, you can get books online and shit like that, I bet you something bitches can't even read! I mean... <laughs> I'm just fucking with you. I mean, I can't read, so I just figure y'all can't either. No, but for real, I, I'm like, that's something that always got me. Like, why would I do that and put it on my video? Why would I put their ad in my video when it doesn't it doesn't have any use for y'all, y'all? Even though I get paid all this money, I feel like it would push people away more than... It would, it would push people... It would push some people to their stuff, but it would push people away from my channel. So to me... That is not a smart business decision if this is what I do for a living. I'm telling y'all, thousands of companies have come to me and asked me to do that, and I never do it. Not saying that I won't do one in the future, whatever, if it's a good deal or whatever, because I think it will help y'all get something or whatever, but I'm just saying I've never done it because I've never found the right one, and I've never wanted to do it to saturate the content that I make to push y'all away. So that's the reason why. I wanted to clarify that because I feel like people think that I may do that with the companies that I help out now with Mudjug or Redneck Nation. When I, those are just my friends and I try to help them out. And uh, it just bothers me sometimes when people say that, you know. It's fine, you can think that or whatever, but this is what I do and I don't want anybody to, to think that I'm uh, trying to make money off y'all and I'm just laughing behind the camera like, haha, I'm making all this money, you know, because I really don't. You know, I don't, it's not like I'm a millionaire or anything like that. I still live in a trailer in the middle of the woods. You know what I'm saying? Like I freaking, it's just, that's ridiculous. So that's, that's what I'm trying to clarify here. These big channels on YouTube, when they do all this, it's to me, this is what, this is the way I feel it is, okay? When you look at what I do, and this isn't me trying to boast or freaking, oh, I'm the best or whatever. This is just what I feel. You got all these big YouTubers and stuff like that, and to me, when I look at their channels, I'm like, God dang, they're all the freaking same. They all do the same type of thing to where they sit in front of a, uh, a camera in their bedroom on their bed, and they freaking talk about, uh, or they do a challenge. Oh, we're going to do a cinnamon challenge, or we're going to do this, and we're going to talk about uh, freaking Miley Cyrus today, and this kind of crap, and all the little girls that freaking watch YouTube love it, and they subscribe to them, and they buy their little t-shirts that have birdies and shit on it and all this kind of crap and then they talk about this sponsor and they get paid and to me it's over it's over saturated saturated and and there's so many people out there like that that's why when i tell people mm, when people ask me hey man i want to get started on youtube i want to do this they're like what should i do be yourself if people don't like you for being yourself fuck them <laughs> what was that damn movie house party birdie back if people don't like you for being yourself Fuck em! Oh man, if y'all ain't seen that clip or that movie, go watch it, son of a bitch. Bernie Mac's hilarious, son of a bitch. But anyways, you gotta be yourself, man. You gotta be, uh, what's the word? You gotta, what's the word, in-law? Independent? No, 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 not independent. Original? You gotta be, uh, huh? Original? Original! That's the word! Original! You gotta be original! And today, in today's times, when everything has been done a million freaking times, it's so hard to be original. I feel like I have, 
I feel like I have broken the mold and actually became original on this channel. Over the eight years I've been doing it, you know? And, uh, you know, doing my own thing. Creating my own characters. And not doing, and not seeing someone else's content be like, I want to do that, and I'm going to do exactly what he's doing. That's why I feel like I, uh... I am being original because I'm doing something that uh, nobody else has done. And not a lot of people do. You know what I mean? So, that's my advice to other people that want to make videos and stuff like that. Is be original. Try to be original. Just be yourself. Because everybody is different. If you're yourself, then you're obviously going to be different than what I'm doing. You know? But, if you sit in a freaking camo chair in front of a camo wall with a big old butt named Krabby hanging on the gosh dang wall with a 30 30 and my gosh dang 12 gauge and the 22 sitting behind me and all this kind of crap with the outlaw flag and turtle shells all over the place and mud jugs spread out, then maybe I would say you ain't being original. That's just the thing I, I want to stress. You gotta be original. You gotta, you gotta go out there and be yourself. Be yourself. People don't like to be yourself. Fuck them. I can't get enough of that shit. So yeah, I just. I don't know, I, I just wanted to talk to y'all today, and I just wanted to freaking talk to y'all, and, you know, the whole sellout thing just kind of bothered me, I wanted to kind of make a video about it, that's why I'm making it now, and, uh, I don't know, I hope it doesn't piss people off and be like, oh, he's just, I don't know, I just, I just want to make this video. Oh, this is the last thing, y'all, this is the last freaking thing, now, I just talked about being original and doing all this stuff, and I've been doing this for eight years and whatever, and... I've been having this thing now. Every YouTuber, I think, goes through this if they've been on it for a long time. I've actually been around a long time. A lot of these YouTubers now that have millions of subscribers and stuff, they've been on here for freaking a year and they already got all that because they got nice hair and nice eyes. And I feel like I got nice hair and nice eyes. Come on now. Where's my millions of subscribers? You freaking girls? It's all the get it's all the dang girls, man. I need the freaking 13 and 14 year old girls to come up my son bitch and freaking look at me. Okay? I'm a pretty guy. Alright, I'm pretty. If you're a girl watching this, tell me I'm pretty in the comments. It makes you feel better about myself. I appreciate that. But this thing, I want to tell y'all real quick, and in this thing, is being on here eight years, doing these types of videos for eight years, and doing all this kind of stuff. In the past month, man, I've I've been in my freaking head. I've been in my head for this past month, thinking, what am I going to do to continue being original and, and continue to create new content? Because... I want this to last forever, you know. I want to continue to build my brand, I guess you can say. But I, but I want to stay original. I want to continually have y'all keep wanting to watch and be consumed. Uh, and, and be able to end a video of mine and be like, okay, that was my entertainment for the day. I'm happy with it, you know. And with what I'm doing now on this channel and stuff, that's why I started vlogging on Live It Thrill. I needed a little bit of a change, right? I needed a little bit of change. I wanted to show my life and I wanted to uh, do a little bit of something different, you know what I mean? And I feel like I've been doing the same type of thing on this channel for so long that I'm kind of burnt out on what I've been doing, you know? Oh, today we're dipping this and I'm going to give you all a little bit of review and I'm going to talk to John and I'm going to, you know, it's like, it's, it's, uh, to me, it's just, it's getting, uh, what's the word? Like, it's, Redundant. what's the word, in-law? Redundant. Redundant. That's a good word, man. I wasn't even thinking that. It's a good word. Redundant, I reckon. Mm. That's a cool word, man. Redundant. 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 I like you like the, you like the dictionary. <laughs> You're the dictionary and I'm the dictionary. <laughs> That's right. We're the dip dictionary brothers. But uh yeah, I'm just you know, I, I'm I've been going through that. I want to I wanna let y'all know what I've been going through. You know, I just I'm getting in my head a little bit, laying in bed at night. I'm like, man, what, I got a video coming up on Thursday. What what tits am I gonna make and stuff? And and I've been like that. So I've been it's not like I got a pro oh man, I'm so depressed about it. I'm not I'm just it's just in my head, you know what I mean? I'm just like I, I just wanna, you know, clarify that and I wanna I wanna put it out there because I want y'all to kind of if you want, tell me in the comments below, maybe, if you, what kind of content do you like best that I've made, or do you think that I would be good at making, you know? Because I feel like this same old thing that I keep doing over and over is just getting redundant. And I need to change a little bit, you know? And a lot of, that's another thing a lot of people say too a lot is, yeah, well, you've changed, man. I've been watching you since the beginning. You've changed, man. Of course I've changed. That's life. Everybody changes. Not only did I change, but you changed as well. 
There's a little life advice for you, man. I changed. I ain't afraid to admit it. Of course I've changed. My voice changed. Got a little bit deeper. My balls dropped a little bit. You know? I started making out with girls a little bit, you know? You started making out with girls a little bit. Life changes. That's how life is, and we all change, you know what I mean? You want to change with the times. You want to do it thoughtfully. You want to, you want to do it intelligently so that people will continue to watch. I ain't going to change and freaking become some gosh dang yuppie and freaking go move to New York City and decide I'm all work on the subway system or something like that, you know? That's not me. But, I feel like, you know, that's another thing too, is everybody's like, always, you know, you change. And I'm like, of course, we all change. You know, that's the way it goes. We can't help that. But, my thing is right now, I'm just like, I, I'm, I'm, I'm stuck in the mud. You know, I'm, I'm not afraid to admit I'm stuck in the mud in my head a little bit on what I want to continue to do on this channel. So, I feel like y'all are family. Y'all been watching for a long time. And I know that some of you may be new. But if you, if you have watched my content over the past eight years and what I've done, I would like you to comment below if you would like to tell me what's your favorite type of stuff that I do, you know? And I know the younger kids, they like the freaking, oh, yeah, we're dipping this today and stuff. But to me, I don't want to do something I don't want to do, of course. This is my channel. And it's ultimately up to me. But I do want to do what y'all want to do at the same time of doing what I like to do, if that makes any sense. You know what I mean? So, because if I continue to do something I don't want to do, then it's going to, I'm going to get burnt out and I'm just not going to do it anymore. And nobody wants that. Or at least, at least the people who like to watch these videos don't want that. I'm sure there's a uh, bitch out there that's just like, thank God he's finally going to stop. <laughs> he's finally going to shut up, in-law. I know you're thinking. I know you're freaking thinking it. In-law's just waiting. <laughs> In-law's just waiting. He's going to change the, the channel name to Outlaw to In-Law. Son of a freaking dick. Oops. Out and in. Out with the out. In with the in. <laughs> so, I don't know. If that's something y'all want to let me know in the comments below. and Maybe we'll think about it for a little bit, you know. I, I would surely appreciate it. I'm going to read these comments and see. But I wanted to just come on here and just talk to y'all a little bit today, you know. And uh, I hope y'all enjoyed that. If you, if you didn't enjoy it, uh, fuck them, you know. I don't, I, don't, I don't know what to say. I'm just going to leave it with this. I'm going to leave you with this. And put it in the like for being yourself. Fuck it. All right, we'll see y'all on the dip side. Hey, uh, I'm not a sellout or anything, but if you want to get some of my merch over at keepithibbly.com, go right ahead and buy yourself a mud jug, mudjug.com. All right. All right, y'all. I appreciate y'all watching as always, and I reckon we'll see y'all on the dip side. My name is Outlaw, and I'm out, y'all. And until then, I always remember no matter what you're doing, 25 8 366 to always. Keep it freaking hell, Billy. Fuck them, Pollard. Born in a trailer in the middle of the woods, shooting deer and drinking beer. It's all that's understood. Dip in my lip, much I get my hand. Redneck nation on my back, we dominating, fade to black. Getting drunk up in the back of the bourbon truck. I'm skinning bugs, shooting ducks. What the freaking dick, man? I was sitting on a 22 the whole damn time. <laughs> yeah. I'm surprised it's laying loose in the chair and not up my but. gaping anus hole. <laughs> That's me, alright? Mm -hmm. And if you don't like me for being myself, <laughs> fuck you! <laughs> I can't stop, man. <laughs> <laughs>